Hi guys, um, I have quite a few requests and 99% of all the uh, emails I receive are based around can you please do a basing tutorial. So what I'm about to do now is a very quick tutorial. Um, so hopefully in the next five minutes I'll be able to um, get that uh, in the bag so we'll see. Um, I will be using uh, the cork tiles that uh, Lenny Smash 84 sent me. Um, so I'm going to cut it here, rip a, another piece of that off because it's hard to get it all in camera. Um, but you, you just literally tear a piece off relative to the size of the base that you're working on. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to come back. Okay, back again, guys. Um, here we can see the base and we can see the cork, obviously. And I want to definitely get rid of that dead edge this is from the square tile so we're getting rid of that right now and you just literally pick away at it um, these tiles were purchased from eBay it got uh, 10 for I think it was 11 pounds and but that's a hell of a lot of cork we're talking possibly to, to do hundreds and hundreds of bases and all these little off cuts here don't chuck them these make good rubble and stuff for uh, when you're doing your terrain buildings or even bases you know you want to put a big rock on there but anyway i'm uh taking too long doing that chatting away not concentrating you can see too big way too big so i'm going to just start ripping away at it still still too big so there's no rhyme and reason i'm doing this fairly quickly just try and get it into shot so we can see it that way it's a little bit big not too bad though that's looking all right that's not too bad so i'm going to go with that and um just for quickness i'm just going to chuck it down with some uh, green stuff now you can uh, when you're actually gluing um, this stuff um, because of the nature of the material um, it the glue gets sucked into it so it can be hard to glue at first so if you put a tiny bit of green stuff down as you're actually uh, gluing it, it it will help uh, things sit down while it's gluing um, but anyway I'm just going to chuck that on there like so There we go. Well, that's okay, that's fine. But we can take that further, which we're going to do now. Well, there's a few ways you can do it. In the off cuts that we've just got, you can lay those straight on top if you want at different angles. And we can make it look like um, it's concrete that's been cracked and split. Now, uh, when you're doing this, you have to be careful that um, the miniature that you intend to place on the base is going to um, fit between the gaps if you do plan on doing gaps I mean what you could do is just layer it straight on top with another layer uh, but say for example that's what we're going to go for um, chuck that there just pop a bit of that on there again like I say there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing now I'm not, I'm not being careful about placement of the miniature and the exact look when you're doing it take your time um, plan out how you personally believe the uh, rock would crack and where you think it would be sitting um, obviously you'd glue this down I'm not but um, I definitely recommend you uh, gluing it down and and the cool thing is because this was teared off if you can see on camera there I'm just going to hold that down a bit it's created a nice rock where that goes in and that comes out so it's almost like it's those two pieces were joined but then they've split apart so it looks very natural um, there we go then we have a paper clip zoom out so I'm gonna just cut some of these off with these big gigantic ridiculously oversized pliers there we go you definitely won't want to catch your fingers in those uh, again what you'd want to do you'd want to twist this a little bit bend it up a bit but I'm not going to do it for this part and just chuck it in you'd want to glue this as well I'm going to don't want to jam my fingers just use this at the end of this to poke it in there 
there you go see and it's like a little piece of girder sticking out now you, like I say you'd want to bend that you wouldn't want that sticking out like that raw and you might want to sand it because it could come a bit sharp but if you bent it uh, you won't be catching sharp and again you can sand it but uh, it gives a nice effect uh, and then we're going to add a pipe to the base uh, I hope I've got the right drill bit so I'm just going to drill into that there And I was struggling, if I'm honest, to uh, find a, a, a straw. <laughs> I couldn't find the <laughs> straws that I used for my original uh, build. But anyway, I found a little off cut in my bits box of a, a straw. So any drinking straw, preferably the smaller ones as opposed to your, your regular McDonald's type ones. And there you go. You got a bit of guttering. So, yep. That was a base done in about five minutes. Now, again, as I said, I mean, I've done this super quick and I've not chipped at the edges as, as I normally would. But um, if you put a bit of um, gravel there or a bit of uh, ballast um, and painted that up, that would look really nice. It would look like any of the expensive um, resin bases you could buy. And, and here we go, um, as modelled here. Another good reason for doing this is Pepsi Challenge is not my miniature, so I hope it doesn't drop. But very heavy miniature and I've not actually glued him to the base he's just been pinned so it should come up it's a bit stiff there we go so I can paint the base separately and pop, pop him back in which I'm going to do now and uh, you're away again like I say he's uh, nice and in there so I don't even have to glue him to the base to uh, paint him so I can paint them separately which is a nice added bonus so yeah, I hope this has helped the people that have uh, been sending me messages. Get out there, do it, do it yourself. Um, this is so simple. Um, some of the techniques that you you, you see in the magazines and the heavy metal um team at White Dwarf, you know, <laughs> I personally couldn't do it. Um, uh, but something like this, it's very simple. Um, you can make it more complicated, adding green stuff in there for rivers and all sorts and this, that, and the other, but. At its most basic, it can take five to ten minutes, and you can have a really cool looking base. Okay, uh, this has gone on longer than I wanted it to. Uh, again, me and my rambling. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.